I got no strings to hold me down. There are no strings on me. This is the transition that I'm making between episode two of the Freemasons uh, all across the world. Yeah, and we ended with the letter L and this man Logue. Yeah, Logue Lionel George C V O. 1818 to 1953, largely forgotten until 2010 when the multi Oscar winning film was made. Okay, this is an even bigger sin against the people and the worshippers. Okay, there is the Lagu, the great bo boaster that we finished on. That is Lagos the rabbit of Macedonia. Yeah, and all of them are massive Freemasonic uh, linkages. And the women are on the verge of their greatest achievement because t tomorrow Hillary Clinton may become the first non Freemasonic president that the world has ever known in America. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very bad option, but she is looking like the favourite at the moment. Right then. So, do you get the Pinocchio joke? Jesus with no strings. Okay, and the man that launched him, yeah, and my favourite restaurant in Newcastle when I worked at Sunderland University for David Putnam, yeah, the joker about the war dead and not being able to run for your country on a Sunday, yeah, there's the putlocker uh, legs that this man has, yeah, all of the angular connections that you've got in the swastikas, yeah, and since I made the video on the swastikas, yeah, and the fish being the penis, and all of the Calpurnius Piso jokes, they have, we've had a massive snowstorm and a storm warning in Scotland. Okay, so this is the creation, the invention of the Freemason, Carlo Lorenzini. Yeah, Lorenzini Carlo, pen name Carlo Calodi, an ex-soldier with a lifelong interest in politics. Lorenzini was a writer. Uh, a novelist who became fascinated by the idea of using an amiable rascally character yeah looks like my brother-in-law's uh, gay boyfriend <laughs> yeah and there's the serpent up the hyssop stick on the ground and everything is just hugely amazingly funny for them okay and the character names are absolutely obscene because they are the joke about Jesus, okay? So it's a rascally character he's created as a means of expressing his own convictions through allegory. Yeah? Uh, in 1880, he began writing Storia di an Burra Tino. Do you know what a Burra is? A Burra is the investec uh, donkey. Yeah, it's the donkey that all through Latin America that takes everybody to the gold rushes yeah and it is the same joke as Jesus being the donkey in the Bible on Palm Sunday yeah the Buratino joke the story of a marionette yeah that's the literal translation you know what a burro is yeah also called La Venture de Pai Pai Pinocchio for the Pizzo family which was published weekly in Il Giorno del Bambini, the first Italian newspaper for children. Yeah, this is the equivalent of the uh, Maswich uh, comedies and the uh, marionette characters that are released uh, to cover the whole of the menagerie. And Hillary Clinton is supported by Katy Perry with the initials KP for Copernicus Piso. The Pie Pie Pinocchio. <laughs> okay, Lorenzino died in Florence in 1890, blissfully unaware of the fame and popularity that awaited his creation, Pinocchio, who's the son of God, and God is Geppetto in the story, the shoemaker. And the shoemaker that I learned about in yesterday's tales or the tales of a few days ago is that uh, the shoemaker is 
No, I've forgotten. I've forgotten. Uh, I think it's in that swastika video. Uh, and the shoemaker is oh, it's the it's the uh, relatives of uh, it's the relatives of Hitler Rothschild. So Hitler Rothschild was sired in uh, the bed chambers of the Rothschild mansions, uh, and his dad was called Alois. Yeah, and the woman that was shagged by the Nathan Rothschild uh, was called uh, Schuckelberger, uh, and that is the shoe name at the beginning of the name. Uh, and that has launched another Prince Harry story today, uh, the day before the American election. And Prince Harry is now claiming that he's in love with a... Uh, uh, he's in love with a. It's the same name as the. It's Merkel, because Merkel, in yesterday's videos, is the uh, joke about Merkel being Hitler's daughter by artificial insemination. Yeah, and all of them are children of that massive fat bloke <laughs> uh, that is uh, depicted uh, as. Edward the Seventh, yet yeah, the massive fat bloke that killed Marcus Manuel so that the Windsors could carry on in their murderous bloodlines and that's why Harry is now demonizing the uh, Frankel woman. Yeah. And Frankel is a racehorse and everybody knows all about those things, but Prince Harry's cover ups are totally unsubtle. And the woman just looks just like Pippa Middleton. <laughs> Yeah, and it's all the same story since Arius Calpurnius Piso wrote the Bible. And this is his creation of Jesus. Right then, so we're at the bottom of section A to L, and we now need to go to M to Z. So I'll come down in size, uh, just to show you that it is still George Lee's making these videos. And it's not the same story as Greg Hallett. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, and there's one other entry below Carlo Lorenzini, and this is Louis Philip II, Duke of Orleans. Yeah, that's the sun rising over New Orleans, and that for the animals is there is a house in New Orleans. They call the rise and sun. Yeah, and that is the Treaty of Louisiana and the selling of the whole of America uh, by Napoleon, yeah, who's in the bloodlines that rule the world and is actually a Bourbon of Versailles. Yeah, so that is the last one on the A to L tab. Let's now see M to Z. We could do it by clicking on that because we're on the internet. And it's Lodges St. Patrick dot co dot New Zealand famous masons do you see how small my catchment is this is not necessarily the most important masons in the world they're just the ones that run World War One, World War Two, eh, and the Napoleonic cull quite a big basket of genocide ok there's the website that you need to look at if you're bored by my interpretations http www.lodgesstpatrick.lodgesstpatrick.co.nz famous.php uh, I forget what that symbol is but you can see it for yourself there ok uh, and my all black jacket fell on the floor in the pub tonight yeah there is no integrity in the colonies either ok l'aventure di Pinocchio the burro that is Jesus Right then, so let's try clicking on that and see what happens. It may not open it up, but we can always go back down and open my OneNote profile. Okay, and that's uh, Louis Louis Philippe Joseph de Orleans uh, escaping the reign of terror. Okay, preferences cannot be read. Yeah, they're ever so nervous at Google headquarters now. 
Okay, let's just shrink it down and I find you the OneNote profile. Oh, there it is. The actual website that we're looking at. Yeah, and the call for uh, upgrading of the uh, importance of the information. Number 468, Irish Constitution. That is the laugh out loud LOL joke for David Cameron and Rebecca Brooks that the numbering of the uh, lodges is the LOL joke for them. Famous Freemasons. Okay, and we're now on to a new page. It's beginning with M. Macadam. Eh, the road manufacturers, I think. Scottish engineers and road builders. Okay, John Macadam invented a new process for building roads with a smooth, hard surface that would be more durable and less muddy uh, than soil based tracts. Uh, now, how do we get this up to. Uh, it's not so good as looking at it on OneNote, I don't think. Although we can get screenshots like that. <laughs> okay, let's go to the more important things. So, this is tarmac, tar macadam, followed later by the use of hot laid tarred aggregates or tarred sprayed chippings to create better road metalling the only thing that John Lamont MSP is capable of modifying in Scottish politics. This one lived between 1756 and 1836. Next is MacArthur, General Douglas MacArthur. Freemason Douglas was the supreme commander of the Allied forces yeah, in the Pacific theatre of operations during World War II. He promised his beloved Filipino people, yeah, that's the Philippines where they still use the piezo currency and I've left that on my mantelpiece in my disloyal wife's house which is actually mine, which is stealing from me. I shall return to the Philippines, rescue them from the occupying Japanese military yeah, who had attacked them and on 20th October 1944 he kept that promise. In 45, at the end of the war, MacArthur took the Japanese surrender aboard the battleship USS Missouri yeah, and having done so became the temporary ruler of Japan yet yeah, till they spank the emperor who bombed Pearl Harbor so they could take over the whole of the South Pacific yeah. uh, and MacArthur unfortunately had to be removed from office by another fr Freemason President Harry S. Truman who got the two million dollars to partition Israel. General MacArthur was a member of Manila Lodge No. 1 in his beloved, beloved Pai Pai Philippines. Macquarie, the last autocratic governor of New South Wales. Let's keep going till we find pictures. We might be able to finish it on this one. Majors Alexander 1814 to 1900, three founders of the short-lived Pony Express. Macy, Roland Hussey, was an American born Quaker. Yeah, that's the religion that does not speak, does not have a celebrant. They wait until they get ideas in their head. And my favourite fisherman in New Zealand from the medical school, yeah, it is a Quaker. Yeah. I will not tell you his name because he got robbed by the aristocrats in Scotland. Yeah, and when he came to Scotland to fish with me, we had the biggest flood on the tweed that I'd ever seen in my life. Yeah, subsequently that has become yeah, quite old fashioned. Yeah. Under his guidance it grew into the famous Macy's department stores of New York. Marks Albert Al Alfred uh, Alfred Marx Ruchel Kuczynski is his real name, nineteen twenty one to nineteen ninety six, born close to the Ugly Lodge in London. Yeah, Alfred Marx was an actor and Marx is the name of the chief rabbi that I lobbied who is the business friend of Prince Charles Peter Marx in that case uh, oh no he's the co-op boss but I think Marx was also the chief rabbi yeah, at one time he worked with Peter Sellers the son of Lord Mountbatten in the stories that do not get told by these people and Sir Harry Seacombe CBE 
yet sometime, somehow missing becoming part of the crazy comedy series The Goon Show with Eccles in it and the ecclesiastical jokes Marshal George Catlick, a soldier, a diplomat and politician George Marshall was the background overall boss of the American forces in World War II that is the Marshals of Arundel the Marshals of the Horse ever since the Pisos yeah, and it becomes the Marshals in every provincial town in America and they have got their deputies too yeah, as Winston Churchill called in post-war Marshall served the, and he's the organiser of victory all of them do it in the back room entirely for profit yet the Marshall plan that's the man George Cartlett Marshall no pictures for reputational reasons next Marshall James Wilson oh no the pictures on the other side on this one oh it's Harpo <laughs> yeah let's forget Marshall Thurgood for the moment unless you're one of his relatives yeah first an African American like Obama to be appointed to the Supreme Court of the United States because Obama's been exposed by me like Pope Benedict he's now dropped out of the election he will not be in contention he's supporting Hillary Thurgood Marshall attended Coal Creek Lodge number 88 in Tulsa Oklahoma yeah that's an indication that those numbers mean continue as you are right through world history and that is the marshals that are the marshals of the Pisa horse right through world history yeah <laughs> okay this is what the Freemasons are all about yeah there is one of the most acclaimed Freemasons in world history his name is Harpo Marx yeah he pretended to be deaf and dumb he's totally competent in both hearing and speaking yeah his joke is hear no evil see no evil speak no evil the same joke as my chief technician yeah the apple magnet yeah the fan of bill jobs uh, who was uh, murray craig in the regime in new zealand okay a dead ringer for the journalist in the devil's advocate movie ok do you get it for the Freemasons yeah we understand everything we will manipulate everybody's lives yeah without consultation of them eh, and we will do it pretending that we are deaf and dumb the second of the gifted Marx brothers Harpo was a phenomenal comedic talent for his time an individual with a rare gift for mime Harpo Marx never spoke in any of his film or TV performances so the audiences actually thought him dumb in reality he possessed a deep melodic voice on 28th September 1936 Marx married Susan Fleming and they adopted yeah yeah the Flemings are in all of the stories yet yeah, always deceitful always double agents and always profiteers and they adopted four children yeah the incapable of siring them thanks to God as a measure of the kindness of the man, Harpo Marx was once asked during an interview with comedian George Burns, how many more children are you going to adopt? Harpo replied, as many as I have windows. So when I leave, I want a kid in each window waving goodbye. Harpo was a true Freemason. Yeah, all of them, my heroes when I was a child because everything that children love is buffoonish or violent <laughs> Massey Hart Almer and Massey the Massey Ferguson tractors that I also loved as a boy yeah and my auntie Mary sells them through Kelso tractors and she turns it to be a tailor of, Rio T of uh, Hudson's Bay <laughs> Louis Bart Mayer born near Kiev in the Ukraine Mayer is generally credited as the creator of the actor's star system and was also known as the Mayor, the Rothschild from the Ukraine yeah. <laughs> yeah. in Metro Goldwyn Mayer in its golden years known as LB he believed Louis Burt in wholesome entertainment 
and went to great lengths to ensure that MGM had on their books more stars than there are in the heavens. Yeah, I don't know whether or not we're missing more pictures because this is just the live, oh no, the pictures are on both sides of the screen. And you can get quite dramatic effects on this. McKinley, William, 25th President, 1897 to 1901. All of the Masons, yeah, until Hillary tomorrow morning. Possibly, I would not bet on it. Yeah, uh, the uh, Trump character is extremely far right, and that is what America stands for. McKinley's presidency was marked by the Spanish American War. 1898, eternal warfare, the annexation of Cuba and the Philippines, and oh yeah, the Pai Pai Philippines that you've just heard about, an open door policy with China, and the passage of Gold Standard Act in 1900. McKinley was of Scottish Irish ancestry. He was initiated into Freemasonry in Hiram Taylor's lodge. Yeah, and that's the Hiram joke of it being buried in the cornerstone if you do not obey the rules number 21 Winchester West Virginia becoming a Knight Templar by 1884 he became a charter member of Eagle Lodge number 431 Ohio later renamed William McKinley Lodge in his memory he was assassinated by an anarchist oh yeah that is on behalf of uh, the uh, second uh, Roosevelt member, that is Teddy Roosevelt, yeah, who was that weekend that this man was assassinated, he just happened to be shooting bears, which is also the Rothschild jokes in the woods. Next one is Menzies, Sir Robert Gordon, Prime Minister of Australia, Robert Menzies was a member of Austral Temple number 110. Yeah, and you know what the Austra is, that's the Austrian master races. He was renowned as a brilliant speaker. F Me Mesmer, Franz Anton. Yeah, let's keep going until we see, are there pictures or not? No, was a German physician with an interest in astronomy. Yeah, he theorised that there was a natural energetic transference that occurred between all animated and inanimated objects that he called magnetism. The yeah, animal magnetism and other spiritual forces often grouped together as mesmerism. The evolution of these ideas and practices led Scottish surgeon James Braid to develop hypnosis in 1842, which I am not prone to, blessedly, otherwise the world would really be at risk. Mesmer's name is the root of the English verb mesmerised. Joe Mercer. Yeah, I told you that every one of the English football uh, managers was on this list. Here we've got this one, uh, who was born in 1914 and died in 1990. The manager of Manchester City was initiated in Riv Acre Lodge number 5808, Ellesmere Port Cheshire, in 14, 1941, this long-term Mason and ex-Everton, yeah, where Hitler watched the games, and Arsenal player, which are the relatives of all of the pharaohs from Egypt, also received five England caps. Following a long managerial career in charge of first division teams like Aston Villa and Man City, 1965-71, he finally became caretaker of England's national football team in 74 and the whole of the papers are full of nostalgia this week because Scotland play England yeah and it's a long time that either of them since either of them had a decent team Mickelson Albert Abraham born in Prussia uh, he is measuring the speed of light Milburn John Edwards Thompson Jackie Milburn cricket player I think quiet modest man oh no a footballer from Ashington like Jackie Charlton yeah a coal mining town in the northeast of England Jackie was a fitter in the pits that's Jackie and Bobby from there and my mates from Hexham that play Santa Claus from the Rotary Club in uh, in Hexham yeah they are called oh, I forget their names they were 
our dearest friends when we were in Hexham. Yeah, uh, and they are totally dedicated to the Rotary Club and all of the frauds that I've explained to you in the swastika story. Yeah, they play Santa Claus at Christmas. Yeah, to remember that Jesus was never born at Christmas. Mitchell, Dr. Edgar Dean, another uh, Apollo 13 man. Yeah, they pretend that the number 13, oh no, this one's Apollo 14. Edgar Dean Mitchell, when Apollo 13 moon mission to the Fra Mura lunar region ended in near disaster in 1970, NASA's response was to simply organise a replacement research operation to explore the Fra Muru highlands of the moon. It was thus that Edgar Mitchell found himself as lunar module pilot of lunar lander Antares yeah, from Apollo 14. Yeah, and there's all of his massive bullshit badges. Yeah, <laughs> stinking badges. As a result, he became the only sick, only the sixth person to walk the moon. A role that should have fallen to fellow Freemason Fred W. Hayes. C A to L above. Uh, and I told you about Gus Grimmond and shooting the pooch yesterday uh, and he actually died later on in the space programme because they're all tempted to let the secrets out when God get to them. Yeah, And this one's got a massively long entry. Edgar Mitchell is a mason in Artesta Lodge number 28 Artesta, New Mexico. Yeah, all got colonial homes yeah, and they've got the Mexicans enslaved with the piezo currency still in use. Right then, here's the picture on the other side this time. Who's it going to be? Reginald Joseph Mitchell was a British aeronautical designer, creator of the supermarine Spitfire fighters, no picture of him, plane of Battle of Britain fame. That's the Spitfires in the Battle of Britain. Another Mitchell. Yeah, and that is the MiGs. Uh, and Mitch and the uh, Jewish angel jokes ok uh, Thomas Hezekiel Tom Mix soldier cowboy and champion rodeo rider yeah friend and great admirer of Wyatt Earp Paul Bearer at Earp's funeral belonged to Utopia Lodge number 537 John Molson English born entrepreneur uh, no pictures who's this one yeah, we don't know who these people are now. Yeah, Monkhouse, Bob Monkhouse, an English entertainer. I think it might be safer to take you onto my OneNote tabs. I think it is safer to take you onto my OneNote tabs, just in case they have uh, they have taken the pictures down. See how many there were in the previous videos. <laughs> Okay, and if they've become aware that I am archiving this, yeah, there's the County Durham frauds, uh, and let's downsize it and see if we can get Okay, so that is A to Z, and okay, so there's M to Z. And we'll go to exactly where we've been before and see if we've been censored in the last 24 hours. Okay, so let's go right to full screen again. And there's the Logic St. Patrick thing that we started off on M to Z. Yeah, and you've got all of the other Masons that have totally shocked me. Yeah, George the Sixth. we'll get to him soon. Sir Henry Welcome. The Balls Bridge, the Hospice Appeals, Admiral Nelson, yeah, Temple Lodges, all over the world. It is the way that the world is run, and that's why Donald is so sure that he's going to win tomorrow. Yeah, and this is just 
the Irish treason yeah and the Germans lead them into oh yeah that's the affiliation of ERA to Germany in World War Two, and all of them are uh, German Green <laughs> right then so let's see if they've taken the pictures of those people down Macadam, yeah they have that is astounding overnight and there's the general in MacArthur yeah massive pictures compared to what we've just been through uh, and you can see that there is oh no maybe not maybe not <laughs> okay there's McKinley dead in the ditch yeah to let Teddy Roosevelt into office yeah it's a conspiracy theory by me there's the one that we've just covered yeah there is Mitchell uh, Artesta New Mexico and here we've now got Mitchell and let's go to 100% now so we can see the text as well okay so this is the Battle of Britain Mitchell Spitfire designer yeah and now we're going to go down to uh, the next picture and there's Monroe another one who was murdered fifth president of the US 1817 to 1825 James Monroe's administration this is the Marlin Monroe cover yeah and there's Bob Monkhouse who we stopped at English entertainer, comedy writer and game show host most famous for his quick ad lib and one liner jokes that's all it takes to be president now Hillary Monkhouse attended London's Chelsea Lodge Monroe yeah, was murdered uh, and Monroe's administration was oh no this is the Louisiana agreement was marked by the acquisition of Florida in 1819 and the profession of Monroe doctrine uh, which declared US opposition to European interference in the Americas James Monroe became an injured, entered apprentice Freemason in Williamsburg Lodge No. 6 Williamsburg, Virginia on 9th November 1775 yeah, and I think he was the one that saw through the Louisiana deal yeah, and there is the air balloon joke for everyone that this is how you get to heaven if you like Jesus and you have no strings <laughs> up in my air balloon air balloon the first world balloon flight by human was made by Etienne Montgolfier yeah you can see the links to Patlocker and the Piso Bible and heaven <laughs> yeah along with his brother Joseph Michel was co-inventor of the hot air balloon which caused a sensation bordering on a miraculous event when it flew over Paris in 1783-1789 Paris for 25 years beyond that is cast into revolution for wealth divide reasons Montgolfier was initiated in the Lodge des Neuf Sœurs that's the Nine Sisters in Paris in 1784 and there's another one, co-inventor of the air balloon, 1740 to 1810. Joseph Michel, like his brother, was initiated into the Paris Parisian Lodge des Nine Sisters in 1806. And we're getting very close to Napoleon's Waterloo. Moore, Sir General John, best known for his military uh, training reforms that created light infantry units let's keep going down till we see pictures Murray Sir Robert yeah this is the one that uh, I've entered because he is linked to those sectarian Catholic versus Protestant institutions that became the Charles uh, Kingdom yeah the Royal Society of London was launched in this era yeah linguist soldier diplomat statesman and spy told you that already let's move on now that's in episode one I think Maurice Robb Wikipedia li lists Rob Morris simply as Freemason 
the late brother Morris, this would consider this sobriquet to be his finest accolade, a prominent American poet. Let's move on. Yeah, we've talked about Robbie Burns being Scotland's greatest man, yeah, putting all of this bullshit in people's heads and making it look ever so romantic. Yeah, Mozart. Oh, I hope we've not done this before. <laughs> Wolfgang Amadeus, although he passed to the uh, Grand Lodge above o after only 35 years of life. Yeah, 56 to 91. He was a child composer and that is portrayed in the Amadeus film, one of my favourites. Austrian composer Amadeus Mozart, considered among the greatest and most prolific composers in history of his more than 600 compositions. That's a very important piece of number. I think that is uh, Jesus himself. His finest works, including, it's either that or the cross, including the opera Don Giovanni. His last three symphonies and the opera The Magic Flute were written in the last five years of his very short life. Yeah, Mozart attended Lodge Azur Waltaktiken, Vienna. Yeah. Murphy, Audie Murphy, was the most decorated American soldier of World War Two. No pictures. The Naismiths are in the Scottish news tonight. Here's one, no picture. Yeah, was the Canadian born sports educator who while working in the USA invented the game of basketball. Yeah, the long shanks game. <laughs> Nehru Pandit, an Indian statesman, longest serving Prime Minister of India, 1889 to 1964, along with Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, advocated Indian independence from British rule. The word Pandit is a sense Sanskrit or Hindu honorific meaning scholar or teacher. Okay, and there is Admiral Nelson, a traitor with his hand in his uh, pocket, yeah, where the wallet is for all of the take, for all of his treasonous actions that makes him a knight to Malta and everything that the British cops have on their lapel. Yeah, and he is the lover of Lady Hamilton from the region I'm now in. Britain's most famous naval officer, Nelson had already won yeah, his fame as a naval commander before his death at the Battle of Trafalgar, made him one of Britain's greatest national heroes and it puts him on top of the prick in Trafalgar Square for the rest of his life, opposite the British Museums and all of those massive art galleries that are now the only places that Hannah Mary Rothschild dare have her business registered. The battle finally dashed any hope that Napoleon entertained of invading Britain and taking over the Bank of England like these bastards did. <laughs> yeah, with the wallet inside his pocket. Right then. Nelson Jr. Thomas, the grandson of Yorktown prior Scotch Tom Nelson. Nel Thomas Nelson Jr. was educated in England but he became governor of Virginia and as member of the William Burgs Lodge, yeah, that's the Orange Lodges now into America, in 1789 when the war was launched and the revolution was launched in Paris to lop all of the people's heads off that they get the opportunity to do and all of the Freemasons come out of Paris and they end up in America quite safe and die in their beds that is both Danton and Robespierre knew Harry Stewart as Postmaster General of the United States. That's a snitching on behalf of Rothschild and opening every one of the official secret mails. Newell Cyril Lewis Norton, Norton yeah, Air Marshal of the RAF, First Baron Newell, yeah, Royal Air Force Chief of Air Staff, early part of World War Two, yeah. Right then. And then they serve as Governor General enslaving New Zealand. GG for the Pisa horse. Right. He's this. Looks like a scientist. Newton, Sir Isaac, 
who studied the apple in the Garden of Eden and the gravity of that situation yeah, and becomes the head of the Royal Society yeah, paved the way for those who followed yeah, and the gravity of all of the frauds right then Nicholas Samuel yeah, first officer of the US Continental Marines yeah, let's move on here's a comedian and a magician combined with the Freemasonic uh, hat that the bankers used to defraud all of the banks and we've just had Tesco's robbed this week yeah, quite an amateurish fraud yeah, to create panic in the citizens base yeah, Nixon, David Porter Nixon 1919-1978 an outstanding English magician and TV personality that's the Magi joke for the three wise men that pass by with the uh, gold, frankincense and myrrh and myrrh is the aphrodisiac as a pharmacologist I can tell you that for the Virgin Mary O'Connell, Daniel, a controversial Irish politician O'Higgins, Bernard Riquelm an Irish father and a mother who was Basque yeah, from revolutionary Spain yeah, Francisco de Miranda, Miranda a Venezuelan revolutionary and Freemason in the back room Olds Ransom Eli Josie de San Martin uh, American automobile inventor yeah, Ellie Rothschild maybe nothing to do with that he lives right up to 1950 Henry Ford, see above, Olds, attended Capitol Lodge, number 66, Lansing, Michigan. Otis, James, like Paul Revere, see below, was a member of Lodge St. Andrew, who never lived, and is the St. Andrew's flag joke for Nicholas Sturgeon, who looks as if she may well be uh, one of Hitler's daughters too. She's a dead ringer for Merkel in America. He was a lawyer, and he said, a British patriot but he spoke against the British government's taxation of the American colonies. <laughs> the phrase taxation without representation is tyranny. Now everything in democracy is paid for by taxation and all of the central banks are owned by Donald and Rothschilds. <laughs> yeah, and Mark Carney from America. This is the role of golf and the putlocker place just above Naples, yeah, and this is Arnie Palmer, first superstar of golf. As sport emerged into the television age, no secret that he is a Mason. Absolutely typical of the whole of the golfing community, like Donald. And all of them are my heroes when I'm a boy, because it looks just like an innocent sport for fun simply an outstanding professional golfer Arnold was born in Penn, Penn, Pennsylvania the Bible joke and for years set the example to make golf a gentleman's sport let's move on Parker, an American actor of long standing Fess Parker was best known of his characterization of Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone his film credits include Springfield Rifle them and hell is for heroes here's a picture of somebody with curly hair like King Charles don't know who it is but let's find out dark dark eyes described as a man of humour and frolic Richard Parson first Earl of Ross was the first Grand Master of Irish Freemasonry sad sad bastard who's given us everything that we've still got today yet dark dark sinister eyes humour and frolic behind them <laughs> yet if you believe a word of it first Earl of Ross 1702 right into the middle he did not live long can you see that right into the middle of the uh, wars of independence and the Scottish Stuart revolutionaries 1725 Richard Parsons became the first recorded Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of Ireland 
a post he held for the next six years and that is Dublin's Hellfire Club which he founded which certainly assisted his early demise because there are gods and they know the difference between good and evil Peary, Rear Admiral, Admiral Robert Edward Edwin Robert Peary claimed to be the first man to have re reached the great geographic North Pole yet like the moon Pi Pi Peary Pi Pi Pain and the plume for the Pisos Henson Cane Lodge Matthew Henson was Rear Admiral in Peary's Lodge Penn John, a lawyer and the first governor of Pennsylvania, John Payne, Penn was another Freemason whose signature appears on the U.S. Declaration of Independence. Penny, yet yeah, you're a big woman tomorrow, Hillary. I hope you live up to your potential. <laughs> yeah, totally corrupted family that run the El Nino global warming scam through the Clinton Foundation. John Penn allegedly founded the first Masonic Lodge in Penn, Penn, Pi Pi, Pennsylvania. The false Bible joke. Penny, James Cash, the founder of the famous American J.C. Penny Stores, 1875-71. to Okay, he's a shopkeeper, let's move on. Jacob Perkins, Anglo-American engraver and mason. Matthew Calbraith Perry, yeah, Katie Perry's on the side of Hillary. As a Commodore in the US Navy, Matthew Perry commanded one of the first steam frigates, USS Fulton. Yeah, that's the man with the cancer in my home town. And my school chum was armed with a new and for its time highly destructive Pakesons shell gun in a similar armed vessel. Perry made a famous expedition to Japan compelling the country to open for trade with the USA. Perry was initiated into the Holland Lodge No. 8, New York, New York in 1819. Yeah, uh, and that is uh, one year after World War I. Pershing, I've seen his statue right outside the White House and Obama nearly ran me over that day. told you those stories before. Henry Jim Peters London born marathon runner yeah. totally irrelevant to the world leadership this one is not but he's got a tiny entry he has stolen the whole of UK's sovereignty yeah, and all of it has now gone into the private hands that he represents as a treasonous Greek with massive links to Denmark and his name is now Mountbatten because he yeah, had him murdered and he is actually called, uh, when he launched his career, he is Prince Philip of uh, those massive, beautiful regions in Fiordland in New Zealand yeah, that have been totally taken over by the Crown. That's Milford Haven, and it's also covered by Milford Haven in Wales, where another set of pilgrims sailed from. Yeah, his entry is tiny. It would have been quite significant until Greg Hallett and me came along. And he's the head of the Navy and runs drugs with Winston Churchill and Onassis eh, for as long as he possibly can. Yeah, and then hands over the drug trafficking to the new sires eh, of the Queen's babies who are Lord Porchester, Lord Plunkett and the people that live in the Itchen uh, and the valleys around uh, the places that are devices <laughs> yeah and running out through Portsmouth yeah and all of it is the story of the illegitimacy of Queen Victoria's children and then him coming in to make the Queen's life even more difficult Prince Philip Duke of Edinburgh was a Freemason in Navy Lodge do you get it? number 2612 that's all the stories about the Philips light tubes yeah, for Prince Philip uh, and running those narcotics in league with the Dutch royals Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, look how big his entry is it's three lines 
Born on the island of Corfu, Philip is the husband of Queen Elizabeth II. His son Charles, Prince of Wales, is first in line to the English throne. Prince Philip is a member of Navy Lodge. Yeah, same statement takes up two of those three lines. Yeah, and he's the one that murdered Diana, and he's the one that effectively is the boss at MI6. Let's have a look at his black eyes. Yeah, slanty. <laughs> right then. So we'd get better get a move on. Phillips, John Henry Lawrence, House of Lords in 67. During World War II, he was chaplain in the Royal Navy. <laughs> Pickett, Pie Pie Pickett, General George Edward, was one of the three Confederate generals who attacked the Union. Pie Pie Pike Albert is the Freemason that culled the Indians. A solicitor, soldier, writer and poet, Albert Pike, and he wrote the Protocols of Zion to keep the world divided as a Freemason. That is like the Shriners joke that we've told you about already. Yeah, he's on my website already. Look it up on my horrendous timeline of fascism. Yeah, and he fell off his horse on the East Coast and had to walk across America. That's the Pai Pai Piso horse. And all of his photographs are with all of the cold Indian skeletons all around him just to show you the power of the Pai Pai Piso family and their relatives. Del Pilar Gatmar Marcelo Hilario. Hilarious means hell Arius. Yeah, do you get that, Hilary? <laughs> I think in the pillow talk you might have discussed that several times with Bill, who's the half-brother of the Queen. Both sired by Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill sired by Prince Eddie, Edward VII. <laughs> the orca fat man who killed Marcus Manuel because he's the legitimate claim claimant to the throne that Queen Victoria passed on to the Rothschild children bastard children points it a physician botanist traveler first u.s minister to mexico joel points it introduced the mexican shrub euphora pulcher ima to america where it became known as the poinsettia he traveled through russia and persia where at baku in 1806 having been shown petroleum oil flowing freely out of the ground mused that one day it would make a useful fuel that is the Russian steppes, and that is the launch of the cover-up of renewable oil, which the Russians tried to reveal in the 1950s, and then they got persecuted because that was the launch of the Cold War. Do you get it? Past master of Recovery Lodge number 31, Grenville, and also Solomon's Lodge number 1, Charleston. Yeah, he realises the oil comes out of the ground if you do not disrupt the ground underneath us and it's the gods that do that and it's the solar energy that creates the oil and it's nothing to do with dinosaur fossils that is the story for the museum comedies Polk, James Knox, 11th president don't think this one was assassinated in his mid-20s on the 5th June 1820 Polk was initiated into Columbia Lodge, Tennessee he oversaw the opening of the U.S. Naval Academy and the Smithsonian Institution, which I've been stupid enough to associate with my YouTube channel, Kelsonian Smithsonian. Yeah, all of the traitors of Kelso were on the Scottish news last night, celebrating the fact that God is not letting them catch salmon this year. <laughs> right then, who's this one? Looks like Tony Blair's wife again. That gets me into deep water. Most recently made, more famous as lead in the Da Vinci Code, Alexander Pope is the third most quoted writer in the Oxford Dictionary of uh, quotations after Shakespeare and Tennyson. These are the New World Order writers. And Winston Churchill is in their community, but he did not write any of his books. All of them written by shadow authors. Yeah, it's the same through all of world history, which is why we have no real history. Alexander Pope, born a Catholic, 
was an 18th century poet and writer of satirical verse. Yet the news. Pullman, George Mortimer. This is the cars and the trains for the sleeping things that I got. I used to get my first job interview with Henry Welcome, the Freemasons Company. Yeah, and it was lovely down there. And I, I used to enjoy even the company of my disloyal and treasonous profiteering wife. Purdy, yeah, the Purdies of my local region, they are associated with the kings of Italy and Etrusca. Etrusca, that is absolutely amazing. Affectionately known as Mr. Navy, George Purdy was an influential force on the Yukusaka community in Japan. Jim Purdy was born on the Balfour's farm at Harriet's Field. Yeah, and it is just amazing how all of those lineages are still in my hometown. Yeah, I'm in a much more humble place now, but there are friends of Prince Charles and Camilla here, and the world's leading polo players. Pushkin, Alexander Sergeyevich, 1799, was a Russian author of the Romantic Era. Let's move on. Putnam, Israel. Yeah, this is the Putnam jokes, but it is not the Putnam of Sunderland University and the running for your country joke. This is 1718 to 1790, one of the four major generals at the start of the American Revolutionary War, when the Flemings started trading their sandbags. Freemason Israel Putnam was only one to serve throughout. He is remembered for his famous shout to his soldiers at the Battle of Bunker Hill, don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Yeah, all of the romantic genocides covered in this sad, sad story. Quaison et Melino, Manuel Louise, was the first president of the Commonwealth of the Pai Pai Philippines, where we still have the piece of currency. And I had it on my mantelpiece with my wife's wedding rings so that she can do her sexual deviancy if she chooses to, without any obligation to show that she used to be a decent and married woman. Under US occupation rule in the early period of the 20th century, Quezon was raised 1908 in Sanukan Lodge, number 272, and became the first Filipino Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of the Philippine Islands that was established in 1917, yet in the middle of World War I. Raffles, Sir Thomas Raffles, a British statesman and the Freemason best known as the father of Singapore was also heavily involved in the conquest of Indonesia, the island of Jaffa from Dutch and military, French military forces during the Napoleonic Wars and contributed to the expansion of the British Empire. He was raised on 5th July 1813 into Lodge de Vrenshan, Surabaya. Raffles, the empire upon which... <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, that's not him. This one is a mysterious person. It's Alf Ramsey at England in 1066. He won the World Cup. <laughs> Sorry, 1966. Yeah. In his early career, Alf was a star player for Tottenham Hotspur, where Stalin was released from in the siege of Sydney Street. <laughs> yeah, he was initiated into Waltham Abbey Lodge number 2750. Yeah. England on the 5th October 1953 at the age of 33. Following his passing to the Grand Lodge above in 1999, his widow Lady Vicky Ramsey donated his regalia to his lodge and this is currently on display at the Masonic Hall in Kachingford, Essex. <laughs> right then, uh, and it doesn't look at all like Alf Ramsey and he's not got his tracksuit on but they tell us that it is so we better believe them. Yeah, because they're mighty powerful. And here we've got Reed, Sir George Houston Reed. And we've missed out raisins on Christmas Day. Czech Republic economist raisin, Dr. Alois Raisin, who helped to form Czechoslovakia. The first act of Czech law is in his handwriting. In 1923, Raisin was murdered, shot in the back by an anarchist, Joseph Supal no doubt to take over the central bank and you know all about the tiffs in the papacy 
when they had three popes, one of them in Czechoslovakia. Right then, and that is the launch of all of the Santa Claus uh, and all of the uh, alternative names. This is Paul Revere, a silversmith, yeah, early industrialist and famous patriot of the American Revolution. So, yeah, we've done that. Okay. Uh, warning the America militia in Concord and Lexington, Lexington about the advance of British regular soldiers. The event was celebrated in a poem by Longfellow and all of the bullshit writers. Donald George Don Revy, another England manager, were very shy on issuing their photos. Yeah, this is the Leeds Freemason. Yet yeah, with all the Scotsmen allowing Leeds to win all of their trophies, having successfully played for several soccer clubs, including Manchester City, 51-56, to 56, and managed Le Leeds United, with whom he won the FA Cup in 72, the European Cup in 73, Don Revy became the manager of the England football team between 1974 and 1977. Revy had been initiated into the Leo DNS's lodge, don't know whether or not as a Yorkshireman, Yorkshireman he knew about the uh, swastika stone at uh, Il Climo Batat, at Il Climo Batat, yeah, massive jokes against the war dead. <laughs> Cecil Rhodes, yeah, the Rhodes Trust, the launch of the London Olympics 100 years after Cecil Rhodes convened the meeting. Yeah, in the Hotel Cecil in London, where Winston Churchill and the Balfours attended, and that is the carving up in 1812 of the whole world. Uh, sorry, 2012. Uh, it's 1912. Is that right? Anyway, this is the launch of the Rothschilds de Beers, yeah, and all of the companies that handle the mining interests in Rhodesia, Zimbabwe and the Republic of South Africa and all of it is run as a joke with Nelson Mandela as an icon for freedom trained in Tavistock and in the British English speaking centres. Rhodes, Elisha, Elisha Hunt, anyone who's seen the US filmmaker Ken Burns epic PBS production The Civil War, let's keep going till we see pictures, Richard, Charles Robert, French physician, physiologist and metaphysician, was a co-discoverer of the medical phenomenon of anaphylaxis. Yeah, some people I know and I'm totally dependent on suffer from that and they told me that yesterday. I don't know what's happened to them today. <laughs> okay, Eddie Rickenbacker was an American World War I fighter, air ace, recipient of the Medal of Honor and a pioneer in commercial aviation. Four columns. Yeah, you can see everything in the Masonic background in every part of their life stories. Rickenbacker Edward Vernon Eddy, pioneer in air transportation. Riley, born in Birmingham, Charles Riley, dedicated clergyman. Sir William Ellison McCartney's of Liverpool covered a three year gap partly caused by Riley's service during the Great War. Ringling Brothers in the Circus. Albert Charles Ringling, Augustus Gustav Gus Ringling Jr. joined the Circus in 1889, one year after we got to Khartoum. William Henry Otto Ringling, that is the Otto Piso and the Ottoman Empire and the holy fucking Roman German Empire and they've got the letter I after the wo letter R and that means that it's one of the piezo jokes I I <laughs> okay Alfred Theodore Alf Ringling 1861 Charles Charlie Ringling John Nicholas Ringling Henry William George Ringling do you get the circus ring now? yeah the ring of the inner circle for the families that were the authors of the Bible and all of their offshoots. Their father, Henrik Friedrich August Ringling, 
was from Hanover, Germany. Yeah, like a lot of the Masons that we've already described, who become the kings of other places. All seven brothers and their father, August Ringling, were members of Barabu Lodge Number no. Thirty Four, Barabu, Wisconsin, where they're not allowed to have union representation now because they're entirely fascist. Roberts, Sir Frederick Slay Bobbs Roberts, Field Marshal, the Right Honourable, First Earl Roberts of Kandahar, yeah, in India, massive wealth divide, Second Boer War relieving, also commanded the British Army during the Second Boer War, relieving Kimberley in 1899, advancing on Pretoria, where the De Beers have all of their minds. Remarkably, Robert's son also won a VC during the Boer War, but following the action died of his wounds. Bob's Roberts himself died while visiting Indian troops in France. Sugar Ray Robinson, a boxer, let's move on. Roy Rogers, yeah, a cowboy, let's move on. William Penn Adair, Will, this is the Adairs that marry into the Rothschilds and become involved in the... Uh, London Whale Scandal and this is one of the world's biggest killers yeah, he's a pilgrim father he's from the vi tiny little town of Selkirk where I was cast into jail and I was tried for my activism yeah, and declared that I must leave my region yeah, and I must sell my house even although I'm selling it to my disloyal wife from Chipping Norton on behalf of the English government which is now totally dismembered because of the truths I've told. Okay, that is Franklin D. Roosevelt. Let's get his story. Yeah, the biggest killer in the world in the name of Christianity and on the Pilgrim Father as uh, Delanoy. Yeah, and that is the middle name for all of the Roosevelt families and that is Delaney's Donkey where we started from on the burrow joke for Jesus in the Bible. Yeah, out of Holland. Yeah, Roosevelt Franklin Delano. Let me show you his mugshot as I tell you the sad story again. Yeah, I don't know what those colours are, but it is totally sick his whole life. Yeah, he got polio as a child and a youngster, yeah, and God took him down as soon as they launched that Cold War that I've told you about. Yeah, 32nd President of the US, only president to be re-elected four times, also known as FDR. He brought his country out of the Great Depression. That's the Lend-Lease scandal. That is the naming uh, and the contract that was given to the builders of the Scottish Parliament building Yeah, in the early noughties. Yeah, run by David Steele and another Selkirk criminal. Yeah. He died on April 12th, just 18 days before his by then defeated enemy Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Adolf Hitler escaped to Barcelona uh, and he died in the uh, Abbey, uh, the Montserrat Abbey. Referring to his guidance prior to and during the Second World War, the New York Times newspaper declared, what men will thank God on their knees a hundred years from now that Franklin D. Roosevelt was in the White House. Yeah, that's Delanoy De on the Mayflower. Yeah, uh, umpteen generations back in 1620. Yeah, and that is launched at the same time as these cowards left Europe in the middle or right at the beginning of the 30 years Christian versus Christian and pagan cult where 8 million people were killed even without the help of explosives and he's the one that did for Japan with the explosive using all of the bomb proof scientists from Göttingen and Heidelberg that he invited to America mid conflict yeah, from those universities in Germany and Oxford and Cambridge in Britain that were immune from bombing through the whole of that conflict and you can see why God took him down as soon as de he declared that Stalin Rothschild was a totalitarian menace, yet he had a massive set of cardiovascular accidents and in inverted commas, thank you God, he's a shriner 
that is ethnic and religious hatred and they are allowed to wear the fez which is why World War II and World War I were launched out of the Austro-Hungarian Danube Valley. Totally sick, Delaney's donkey in the Jesus joke, the burro for Pinocchio. Right then, and here's his wee nephew, I think, yeah, Schreiner Franklin D. Roosevelt was succeeded as president by another Freemason, Harry S. Truman. He's the one who got the bung to partition Israel, yeah, in league with the people that were uh, the Balfers and uh, Churchill. Okay, Roosevelt Theodore, 1858, and he's in the museum film. FDR does not even get a mention because his crimes are impossible to laugh at. Yeah, and they were also narcotics running runners, and right up to the end of World War II, narcotics were legal all across America. <laughs> yeah, this one's in the museum film on the back of the Piso horse with the cowboy hat on said he was half Irish and half Dutch. As a diplomat he was characterised by the slogan speak softly and carry a big stick. They live in Oyster Bay and I uh, forget what the other place is, right next door that is the giveaway about them being the Pearl Harbour fraudsters. Do you get Oyster Bay already? Yeah, I forget what the second place is but it is launched and associated with the baseball Harlem Globetrotters and uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, one's in Brooklyn, one's in Oyster Bay. Massive mansions, and the mansions for FDR are called Springwood, which are the same as the Elliots and the Scott Douglases in Springwood in Scotland, in my hometown. Yeah, and there's the McKinleys that they had to kill for so that he could take over, come out of the woods, as the bear in the woods, ancient linkages to Rothschild, yeah, and the Dutch mafias that now become the Dutch fascists, yeah, and they were the German fascists before World War Two was ignited, uh, and extended by the Pearl Harbor joke. Okay, Ross Edmundo, Edmundo Ross was born on the seventh of t December, nineteen ten, Trinidad. He's an orchestra musician's union rep. Sir Alec Rose, born in Canterbury, was a horticultural nursery owner and fruit merchant. And here's the only Rothschild on list. <laughs> They're ever so clever and dominant. Yeah, this is lively Lady de Rothschild, James Mayer, born Jacob Mayer Rothschild. Yeah, 1792. 1868, sorry, that is lively lady Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> yeah, very closely related yeah, to the uh, uh, people that are the sires of all of those illegitimate children that are Bill Clinton, Queen Elizabeth II, uh, and that massive uh, fraudster and ultra orca fat man that was. Uh, uh, Edward the Seventh, <laughs> yeah, the father of Winston Churchill, who became the father both of Bill Clinton and Queen Elizabeth the Second. Here is James Mayer de Rothschild, born Jacob Mayer, seventeen ninety two to eighteen sixty eight, born in Frankfurt am Mayer, am Main in Germany. Yeah, James de Rothschild was the fifth son. This is the one that took over in Paris. Mayer sent each of his five sons to a prominent European commercial centre in order to find branches of the family. De Rothschild therefore moved to Paris in 1811 and in 1817 after Waterloo expanded the family banking empire to the city, opening De Rothschild frere yeah, for the Masons, an advisor to two kings of France. He became the most powerful banker in the country and following the Napoleonic Wars played a major role in financing the construction of railroads like Salomon in Austria and the mining business that helped make France an industrial power. Along the way he added to his fortune with investments in such things as the importation of tea and the purchase of a vineyard 
Chateau Lafitte Rothschild, a strong-willed and shrewd businessman, James amassed a fortune that probably made him the richest man in the world, and still not on the, on the Forbes list. The family's wealth was so astounding as to be hard to believe. It is estimated that in today's money, James de Rothschild's personal fortune, not including the wealth of his other family members, was alone at least five times the fortune accumulated by Bill Gates. Rothschild was initiated on the 24th 1802 into Emulation Lodge number 12, London. Bill Gates is also a relative of seven of the Pilgrim Fathers, yeah, and Elvis Presley. Archibald Hamilton Rowan, born in London, was an Irish celebrity and founded member of the Dublin Society of United Irishmen, champion of the poor and underprivileged. Let's move on. Rudolf Donald Eugene, that's the eugenics campaign for all of them, right up to 2006 for this bastard. During the War of the Pacific, Don Rudolph received a Medal of Honor, the USA's highest award for military gallantry. Yeah, in the Philippines, yet yeah, where there are more Christian denominations than anywhere on this earth, and the piezo coinage is still used, and they still get massive floods and tornadoes. But the beach where Magellan killed Magell uh, they killed Magellan, the explorer from Spain, or maybe Por Portugal. Yeah, it was Spain. He killed Magellan with a sword, and they were armed with rifles uh, and uh, gunpowder. Rusk, American patriot John Rusk, national prominence portraying Uncle Sam as a regular fixture. Yeah, it's a pity they do not have a picture. And here we've got uh, the man that is the KFC man, yeah. And I used to eat his products even in innocent little rural New Zealand. Harlan David Colonel Sanders and the Saunderses are still in the election for the president, and they helped get Hitler out of Lake Muggelsee and into uh, his escape place that was Spain. I don't know what happened to Eva Braun, but the babies that are now being born that are Merkel were her uh, younger sisters, uh, and they were those babies were sired in her womb by artificial insemination using uh, Hitler Rothschild's semen. Yeah, total chaos by design, which is why Donald wants to win. So you can extend it and we can render us potentially extinct. Martin Yosi de San Martin, Gámez de Ma y Matros, an Argentine general and prime leader of the southern part. This is 1778 and 1850. And all of those funding institutions that were the Welshers and the Fuggers from the Alps. Yeah, and became the Habsburgs too. Santa Ana Lopez, yeah, most well known as Santa Ana, the Mexican general who so brutally defeated the Texian defenders at the siege of the Alamo. This is the joke also about the peso coinage and Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid going there for their last battles. And here is yeah, the man that plays King Herod, who was in the author team for the Bible in the Roman court way out of the Holy Lands, yeah, as the Pisos launched the whole story about Jesus and him being executed at the command of this man. And that decision sucks. Do you get that for the lollipop for Telly Savalas? Yeah, the Freemason, a gifted actor, proud Freemason. Nineteen twenty two to nineteen ninety four, Telly Savalas, yeah, and he's the one uh, John Wayne was the only man in the world that was a more powerful Freemason than him and the most famous one. Yet yeah, he's the one that wails about Jesus being hung up on the cross as Herod's decision. <laughs> Telly Savalas was a charismatic actor who became famous as the bald, lollipop sucking police detective Kojak. Yeah. <laughs> and that becomes the Kodak families for the McCartneys and the people that are trading out of Hemel Hempstead. 
Okay, and Clint Eastwood is in the Bloodlines too, and his brother George Savalas was also an actor and Freemason. Okay, who's this one? Oh, the Salvation Army pacifists for Rothschild with the red uh, banner on the shoulder. Yeah, Sawyer David.